Hello, everyone, and welcome to another video from uh, the USMLE Sarthi team. As many of you prepare for the upcoming match season, or in fact, the match week, uh, we received a lot of questions about soap. What is soap? Do people actually match in soap? Which specialties actually go in soap? And finally, do IMGs have a chance in soap? So what we did was we looked at the last two years NRMP data exclusively on soap and we analyzed it. And the purpose of this video is to show that data to you so that you can make some informed decisions. So let's look at some of the NRMP data in the last two seasons. First questions, do SOAP actually fills up the positions? And the answer, as you can see, is an overwhelming yes. About 99% of the positions available in SOAP in the past two seasons have been filled up. As the chart can show you, in 2022, the total positions in match were about 39,200, out of which the unfilled position that went into SOAP were 2,262. Uh, but they were able to fill more than 2,100 positions. So overall fill rate of about uh, 99 plus percent. And the same story in 2021. So SOAP actually is very effective in terms of filling up the positions that they show up in SOAP. More important questions for IMGs is which specialty have historically gone in SOAP? As you can see, the specialties that have traditionally gone in SOAP are the preliminary surgery, transitional year, internal medicine, family medicine, pediatrics. And, and let me tell you a bit about this as well. So preliminary surgery positions are one-year positions. They are a precursor to the advanced specialties like uh, radiology, ortho, derm, journal surgery, et cetera. And the transitional year is could be internal medicine uh, transitional year. And they also are on the advanced specialty preparation. So say neurology. So these positions, uh, two kinds of applicants are very, very favored. One is the American grads who are going for advanced specialties and the universities hold back some of these positions for their own graduates to fill up in the uh, preliminary or the traditional uh, transitional year. The other is visa, non-visa seeking IMGs also have a good shot at uh, say transitional year. Not to say that visa seeking IMGs do not match in transitional year or prelim surgery. Every year we have students from Sarthi who end up matching there. And then of course, as you can see, internal medicine 450 positions uh, showed up in the SOAP last year, 451 actually. Family medicine, 468. Pediatrics, 84. Other IMG specialties tend to be very, very less. So, but they do show up. Pathology, neurology, psychiatry may end up, uh, but obviously less than this. And 2021 had the same uh, kind of uh, story. Now, these were the available positions. And now let's see how they filled up. And I want to focus on the IMG favored specialty. So internal medicine, as you can see last year, 427 positions did fill up on SOAP. Family medicine, again, more than 440, 445 positions filled up. Pediatrics almost completely gone. So the IMG favored specialties will also fill up going by these trends. And you can look at even 2021, they will uh, fill up. The most important questions, do IMGs actually match in SOAP? And the answer is yes. Now the data here is uh, a bit unclear and I'll tell you why. First, the first column shows you the eligible applicants. Now these are not the applicants who applied in SOAP. These will be all of you who get a status check on Friday before match saying you are eligible for SOAP. So for example, non-US citizen IMGs 5,200 in 2022, US citizen IMGs 3,114. They are SOAP eligible or they were SOAP eligible. Now what will happen is on Monday of the match week, thousands of this would, would have already matched. So 4,000 US IMGs or you know, non-US IMGs, they would have already matched. And the number of applicants, IMG applicants who will apply into SOAP are much less than the 
eligible applicants. Then the other column shows you how many actually accepted and matched in SOAP. So 168 students who were non-US citizen IMGs matched in SOAP. And of course, if you are a US citizen IMG, uh, the number is almost double that. So those were some of the things uh, I wanted to share uh, with you uh, as part of the SOAP analysis. What are the lessons? What is the summary that you can take out of it as you prepare for the SOAP week? First, SOAP will fill up. Second, if you're uh, uh, interested in preliminary surgery, transitional year, you will have a very good shot at it. Not to say that internal medicine, family medicine, pediatrics do not have a good shot. You will have a good shot because uh, you will see substantial number of positions. Number three, if you don't need a visa, you have a really, really high chance of matching in SOAP. But number four, even if you need a visa, every year we have Sarthi students who match in all of these, You know whether it's the transitional year, whether it's IM, FM, pediatrics, even visa seeking applicants will match in so so with that i wish you good luck and i hope you watch other videos on the so preparation that we have for uh, next week and uh, good luck for all of you in the upcoming month.